My name is Ren Dennehy and I am a queer performer, producer, drag artist. Uh, I'm originally from County Kildare, but I'm now based in County Dublin. Um, I am the founder and producer of the Queer Cabaret, which takes place once a month, or usually does, at Bow Lane. Um, I'm also the producer of Drag Storytime, which happens at festivals all around the country. In the first place wanting to be an actor so when I was in school that was the only thing I wanted to do was to be on stage and be an actor and when I was little the first memory I have of being on stage performing in front of people was at our communion mass and uh, I didn't know that I could sing or perform or anything like that but everybody had to do something um, but afterwards people told me that I was pretty good and I got a pretty good buzz off it so uh, that's kind of where the bug started for me. While I was in college I was getting involved in different productions and one in particular was with the director called Stephanie Courtney uh, and it was a Shakespeare production of Much To Do About Nothing that was happening in, in the Ivy Gardens um, and during that production I had this teeny tiny little like walk-on part in it but it was just the most amazing fun production ever. We were performing outside in the summertime in the Ivy Gardens doing Shakespeare. It was my first time doing like a proper play with a proper director and a team behind it um, and I had this little tiny scene at the start with this actor called Amy McCann, um, who had just moved back over from London, um, from training and working over there, and she just set herself back up in Ireland and she was establishing a company. And she and I just happened to become friends. And they had their first production, they were a company called Red Bear. They had their first production in the Dublin Fringe Festival. Um, and they were looking for somebody just to be like a production assistant, to do a little bit of running around, getting coffees, helping out with like props and set and stuff like that. And they kind of took me under their wing. Um, so Avian McCann and Tracy Martin were the two artists who uh, started that company and that was all the way back in 2014. Um, and their company has come such a long way. Um, Tracy was nominated for an Irish Times Theatre Award and Avian just won an Irish Times Theatre Award for Best Actress just there a couple of months ago. Um, but that was really kind of my background and how I got my start. It went from like really wanting to be an actor to kind of getting into production stuff. And then that kind of weirdly led me back around to performing again, which is cool. I was not really that aware of kind of what drag was and what queer performance was for a long time. I'd seen it a little bit on TV, like Shirley Temple Bar on Telly Bingo and kind of other little bits and bobs, but it wasn't until I watched RuPaul's Drag Race that I kind of found out what drag was. And once I saw that on TV, I was like, that's that's exactly what I want to do. <laughs> um, so it was in 2018 when I started performing in drag. Um, I created my drag character, a vocal reaction, because that's what drag should do. Um, and I did my first ever drag performance at a competition called DCU Drag Race and um, it was an amazing night. All my friends came out to see it and I just had the best time. And I'd spent like the last three years working in the arts for working as a producer, so I hadn't been on stage properly in a long time, but getting back on stage, creating that character for the first time, feeling the buzz of the audience, and just the, the best thing about drag is that you really get to be yourself and kind of by transforming into somebody else, you really get to be yourself. So Avoca first came about in March, 2018. And then I kind of just plugged away at that, um, doing other people's shows, trying to get as much experience as possible. And then in January 2019, I set up Avoca's um, Queer Cabaret. That was in Drop Dead twice originally. Um, so just a little over a year ago, I started producing my own uh, Queer Cabaret shows, which is really exciting. I'm every gender, I'm non binary. Got no time for your gender, no, no, this normativity, no. I feel like I don't really have a choice. It's like, sometimes I feel like it shows me rather than me choosing it. Like, it just feels like something that I have to do. Um, I love the buzz of being on stage. I love the collaboration that you need to create to make a show happen. 
Um, I mean, even if you're a solo artist, like no one can just get on stage on their own. You have to have your sound person or your venue manager, or your producer, or your stage manager. There's always uh, a part of it that you have to collaborate with somebody else on, which is the part I find most exciting. But I think the thing I love most about it is being able to change the energy in a room. Like when you get on stage, feeling that shift and that buzz that happens when you start singing or you start performing. Um, I just really like making people laugh and I like making people happy and um, performing is a really fun and easy way to do that I suppose. Yeah I think like artists have such an important role in society and I think it's something that the, the Irish government need to get a little bit more aware of is how important we are to society and how much we need to be funded and we need to be paid and we need to be supported because artists for one we provide entertainment and you know we make people laugh we give people kind of a break from their everyday lives we give people a bit of an escape but then also I feel like we have a really important role in bringing you know issues and important issues to people's attention that maybe people wouldn't be aware of for, for shows or for films or for TV and especially now with the global pandemic going on and the lockdown everybody is turning to films and TV and live streams and music and, and all of that to have that bit of escape so I think it's more it's, it's never been so obvious how important art and artists are to society. Um, and yeah, I think almost everything I do is, is political. I mean, as a drag performer, as somebody who identifies as non-binary, we are so sort of underrepresented in the entertainment world and in the world in general. There's still a lot of prejudice. There's still a lot of misconceptions about people like me. Um, so the fact that me and my fellow performers, my friends, the fact that we get up and we show ourselves, even though society might not agree with everything that we are or everything that we promote, then that in itself is kind of political at its core, that it's sort of an act of rebellion and that we show ourselves even though society might not always appreciate that. It looks like it's going to be this way for a long time. It looks like there's going to be a long wait before theatres and performance spaces are back to the way they were. So I think we all need to be as inventive as we possibly can be to try and keep performing, keep the art, keep the art going in the world.